Hey all you rock and rollers, Danger Dano here, and we're going to do another Rise of Empires video today on taking these structures in Eden. Uh, as you, most of you know, I'm from State 524, and we are in our first season of Eden, and we are currently taking this town right now, as we've been doing on most uh, war days, which are similar to the Reign of Chaos seasons on Construction Day, Hero Day, and Free Development Day. So... What we've done here is we've chosen a town, we set up a memo on the top of it as, as the time that it's going to start, and we usually set a timer so that people know when it's going to begin. This will really help you because as most of you know in Eden, uh, teleporting isn't as simple as just teleporting, so therefore we have to build a pad, it takes about two hours to be able to teleport anywhere, so we need some preparation in advance. So it's good to know where we need to set up and what our next target is. So as I said, we've we've put the note there for everybody to see. Everybody has set up their towns or their pads around the town, as you can see. And we have about 85 members here right now. So we've started the attack. I'm going to turn off the troops right now so that you can see a little bit clearer here. As you can see, we have the banners on. So we have the little wrench heads there under where I'm clicking, and the little hammer and bricks there. So those are the two banners. I've explained them in other videos. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with them, you know, ask around. Somebody should know. I'm not going to get into them in vi this video. Uh, but just overall, I wanted to show you, I mean, I mean, really quick, I guess we'll just go into the specialization and I'll show you that the banners are up here and you can learn what they are and play with them. But they basically reduce the amount of stamina and increase the amount of demolition that you uh, use. So I'm going to start sending my troops. I have my footmen set up in all of my legions. All of my legions have 736 demolition. That's because I have Master Warfare maxed. And if you max your Master Warfare, you should essentially have that 736 as well with T9 footmen. So that's what I'm running, T9 footmen. Now I do have three footmen heroes that are... Uh, more or less fully unlocked. So I got the Peace Bringer, I got the Desert Storm, and I have the Jade. But I can put them all together and they'll use less troops. Um, they are quite strong together, but without with them together, I only have a few regular heroes and then the rest of mine are caval cavalry, cavalry heroes. So the cavalry heroes don't work well with the footmen. So what I've been trying to do is I try to put one footman hero in each of these legions, spread out with a cup, one normal hero or some cavalry heroes, just whatever I find works best to kind of spread out my, my cavalry heroes so that they can carry the troops, but they don't really have the strength. Uh, and then here I just have a couple regular heroes with my Rose. And again, she's a cavalry hero, so she's not going to help the footmen. But we are going to get it started here and get marching. Now I have all of my legions loaded. Another thing you can do is if you invest in Imperial Investment, you can use one of these guys. I'm going to use one right now. Uh, it does give you a little extra honor when you're attacking these structures. And that was weird. None of my lines were showing. But we got our little sea of of troops here and you don't see too many right now because as you may already know on these structures you can see that the loyalty required to attack this structure is 6,000 loyalty I have 6,500 right now I'm not on my blue right so uh, I, I was taking 16s and I've switched to um, other specs specialties right now so that and and therefore my my loyalty has dropped down to be able to take 14s but that's it so 6,000 loyalty is required to attack this building at first. And then after it drops, I believe it's 20% health, it will start, the building will start burning and the amount of loyalty required is going to drop. So once that loyalty drops, then we'll get everybody else participating. But until then, we don't have everybody having, not everybody has 6,000 loyalty to be able to attack this right now. So another point here is you see my troops have come back and you see that they need to be reloaded. 
So they don't lose too much each time. I'm just going to send these guys out and we'll show you again on the next one. So you see, you know, I lost about 4,000 there. I lost about 1,000 there. And I lost about 5,000 there. So the goal is to minimize the amount of troops that you're losing. I know those don't sound like big numbers, but even at a, a, a couple thousand per hit loss is going to equal out to, you know, a couple hundred thousand troops being lost on each one of these buildings. So really trying to get that number down as low as possible is a good idea. Sometimes people will only run two legions and therefore, you know, you, you do take a little longer to burn your stamina, but maybe you have two legions that are strong enough to be able to lose less troops. Uh, that might be the best option for you. Now, another point here is, as you can see, that again, they need to be reloaded. This automatic deployment, I don't know if any of you know that, I'm sure some of you do, but if you click on that, it will automatically fill your legions back up with the same type of troop that you were using. So now they are just ready to launch again. So we launch them off, we'll go back in, we can see... game's glitching out here, probably because I'm recording a video for you guys at the same time as I'm trying to watch all of this going on. And believe it or not, these troops all moving, this sea of troops, is really uh, um, really a hog on the, the RAM on your device. So be aware of that. Uh, if you have issues with this, close your other background apps. Some people have complete issues where they can't see anything. Um, close your other apps, restart your game, sometimes that helps. Um, but I do find if I'm running any kind of apps, my music player or YouTube in the background, and, and it's sitting in the background, it is using RAM that this game can't use then, and therefore you start having these glitches. So I'm going to go back in, and we're going to automatically deploy again. Now, sometimes it gets a little bit confusing to try and click on the center of this structure with all of these troops going. That's why I like to turn the troops off, and then therefore you can see the center a little bit better. Now, be aware that the tiles around the center that are part of the building itself are not necessarily needed. You need one to be able to connect to the center, but a lot of people end up, see, you can see right here, somebody's hitting this tile right here. Let's, let's call him out. Who is this? Well, let's see if we can get him. Somiot. Somiot. If you're watching, learn from this. So we don't hit these outside tiles. We connect the one, and then we only hit the center. And then that is where all the damage happens. Sorry, I just had to pause you guys for a second there. I was going to take care of something. And so I'll show you as these guys come back. You can see here my troops are returning a few seconds. And I'm going to go in and I'll show you how that automatic deployment can work separately. So that one did that one. So it will reload only the ones that you have back at the time. You see it reloaded that one, but it didn't reload my last one. So be aware of that, that if you if you still have troops marching, this automatic deployment isn't necessarily going to fill them. And I'm going to take you guys through this whole process. This might be a bit of a, a lengthy video, but, um, you know, I'm probably going to pause you guys and then I'll, we'll come back when we get closer to the end of it should probably keep you guys on until we at least get see so now the building is burning we're gonna see and we got a whole lot more troops now so this is pretty good participation i'd like to see a little bit more there's some people not sending troops i'm not sure if they're just uh waiting for the building to be flaming and haven't quite sent yet or if they're sleeping, or what have you. Sometimes people will set up pads and then fall asleep. I can't say I've never done that, so... It happens. 
it happens. But obviously, if you set up a pad, try to be there. People are counting on you. The space is limited, so you know, do try to utilize the space well. If you if there's a chance that you don't think you're going to be there, build a pad outside of the range. You know, somewhere out like these guys out here, where you're not going to interfere too much with the center, and then you're not going to be like like this guy here, who's probably sleeping right now. I'm not even going to say his name, but, you know, has obviously taken tiles right here to build a pad, but didn't end up building a pad. So that's a good spot that somebody could have taken, and they cannot take now. So be aware of that. It's respectful to try and uh, take note of where you're going to set up your pad and whether or not you're actually going to be there for sure. So as you can see now, I'll get these troops running again. And normally you want to be very fast on this. If you want to try and get those top rewards and top scores, really try to hurry on getting your troops out. As soon as they come back, send them back out again. I, I'm feeling a little confident because this is such a large structure. It's actually going to take us about an hour to take. So I will get all of my stamina burned. And that's the trick is, you know, get all of your stamina burned, have as high of a demolition power as you can, and you should end up in those top rewards. I mean, if you go into... My rewards, I mean, I was top of that one, rock and row. I was top of that one, rock and row. Yeah, I mean, those are the ones we did today. It tends to be how I work. If I'm there and I burn all of my stamina, I get the top rewards. So take note of that. I'm, I'm being a little bit slower because, I mean... The, as long as you get all of your stamina burned, you're going to be fine. And that actually makes a, makes another good point. So when you first start out, and this first starts, those first few seconds are critical. Get your legions launched as quickly as you can, all four of them, so that at that point, the stamina drops from 100 to 95, and then therefore will be able to start accumulating more stamina for you as you're sending more troops out. So the point is that first one is very critical, get it sent out immediately, and then from there, it's kind of as quickly as you can. Let's just get these guys again. I'm gonna turn off these guys. Use my automatic deployment again. So it does help out quite a bit. Now, this is why they say you need lots of troops for Eden. You know, I, I kind of doubted the numbers that people were telling me that I was going to need for Eden. But on second thoughts, they were absolutely correct. So, you know, even 10 million footmen wasn't enough. Um, you're going to go through them so fast. I mean, even with how minimal number of troops I'm losing. So I'm losing 3,000, another 3,000, 4,000, so that's 10, so roughly 15,000 per hit. Well, per hit of all four legions. So I mean, if you do 15,000 troops for each of the hits, and each of those legions can launch 20 times, I mean, 20 times 15 is 300,000 troops. So right here, I mean, I'm not losing many troops at all. I'm doing really, really well as far as my troop loss goes. I'm keeping it to a very minimum. And I'm going to lose 300,000 troops. 300,000 T9 footmen on this one building. So if you do four of these buildings a day, you're going to burn through a million or more T9 footmen, which adds up really quick. I mean, you... That's a million footmen is about three days of healing. So there's war every two days and it costs you three days of troops. So you do the math. You're obviously never going to be able to keep up and you will therefore run out of troops before the end of the season. And you'll be like me where you're sitting here with... I started the season... See, I started the season with 140 million power and I'm down to 40 million power. So I have about 400 million power sitting in my base camps right now. I actually just checked, and 
It was, uh, last time I checked, was 40 days of healing time. And we're only at the end of week three. So, yeah, I'm going to have a tough season ahead of me. I don't have many troops left. And therefore, I do have to skip out on a couple of the wars. Just because I don't have the troops healed up yet. So, like I say, the whole point is just making sure that you get all of your stamina burned. We're getting to be... Well, we're a little over half left. So a little under halfway. We're a little over half the timer. So therefore, you get 30 minutes to begin this. And when you first start it, you have 30 minutes, uh, full health. And at when the timer ends at 30 minutes, really nothing happens. So technically, you get an hour, but it just starts over the timer. You get another 30 minutes, but no health heals, no uh, nothing, nothing changes. But then after the second 30 minutes, the health will recover by 10% each time. So after this, we got 13 minutes left here. I think that's what it says, 13. Yeah, 13 minutes left here, which we're still going to have some health left over. Uh, and we'll have to run another couple of banners. We do have other banners lined up for in case this town takes us more than the half an hour. And... Make sure you have those second banners lined up because these towns are really hard to take without the banners and you won't be able to pull it off um, unless you're prepared for it. So so definitely prepare your, your second banners, uh, a backup. You know, hopefully you don't have to use it, but if you do, at least it's there. And like I say, just keep getting those legions running. I mean, fortunately, I'm fairly close on this one. Some of them I've been... I'm right here. So some of them I've been much further away. But even on one of these large towns, say someone like out on these outliers out here, these guys, um, even they can burn all of their stamina throughout the time that it's going to take this to take this town. So don't, don't worry about getting the closest. It's not going to get you the best score. The best score is just going to happen from you having the highest demolition and you getting the most number of hits out or using all of your stamina basically so that is the point and like I've shown you tends to get you at the top of the list at least if you have your master warfare at the highest level or the highest level that everybody else has at least And I guess now that you've seen how this works, uh, you've seen the sea of troops, you've seen how to set up, I'm going to pause you and I'll bring you back towards the end of it, uh, at least when I burn all of my stamina, and we'll see how much we have left and how this finishes off. So I'll see you back in a sec.